Hey everybody, this video is going to show you how to use Excel to do um, to find a confidence interval for a mean using a t-distribution. So let's look at this question. I start reading this question looking for um, the information that I'm going to need to, to find that confidence interval. And so the first thing I need is a sample mean. It tells me the sample mean was 1.5 hours. So I'm going to put 1.5 over here. Um, sample standard deviation was 0.5 hours. Sample size was 70. And the confidence interval was, is 95%, so I'm going to put 0 0.1, 0 0.95 there. Okay, and the rest I'm going to have to calculate using Excel. So degrees of freedom is the sample size n minus 1. And so I can just put 69 or I can calculate it using that cell. And that way if I change the sample, it calculates the degrees of freedom automatically for me. So there's my degrees of freedom. Alpha is something that the that Excel is going to need, and that's always going to be 1 minus the confidence level. So 0.05 here is, uh, is my alpha. And now I am ready to calculate the error, sometimes called the error bound of the mean or margin of error. All those things mean the same thing. Okay, so the function I'm going to be using is starts with confidence or confidence interval. So if I start typing that in, I see confidence.t. I'm doing a t distribution here because I'm using a sample standard deviation. That's what determines it. So I'm going to choose that one. And so it wants alpha, which I got right there. It wants the standard deviation and the sample size. So I actually didn't even need to calculate the degrees of freedom because it's going to do it for me with this function. So enter, and there is the error for this confidence interval. And so to find the lower limit and upper limit of this confidence interval, I'm going to take the mean and subtract the error from it for the lower limit and add the error for the upper limit. And there's my confidence interval. If I wanted to write this in interval notation, then Let's say I'm uh, rounding to the hundredths place. It would be parent parentheses 1.38 comma 1.62. And there it is in interval notation. 